Hello, darling. It's Naima with the Academy for Womanhood, where we help women heal sexual trauma, grow up, and become unapologetic women who design their lives on their terms. And today I am broadcasting to you from my purple living room in my apartment in Paris. And there's a lot of purple here. It's um, an Airbnb experience. I'm here for 19 days and so I prefer to have a more personalized <clears throat> local experience when I travel beyond a week to a place. So, um, but part of the reason why I chose this place is because of its ambiance. And that's always a huge factor when I'm deciding where I'm going to travel, like where I'm going to lay my head where I travel, um, where I'm going to host events. And this makes me so excited because um, later I'm going to be inviting you to come sit with me at one of my Unapologetic Womanhood tour stops. And the venues are fabulous. So fabulous. And so that is the topic of today's video is <clears throat> paying attention to what it is that infuses you. Um, what is it that makes you feel good? What is it that makes you soften and relax? What is it that makes you become alert and attuned in a more refined way? <clears throat> and one of those things for me is being immersed in beautiful places. Being immersed where, um, being immersed in a home or an apartment or a condo that is gorgeous. To where I can sit and just lay and allow all the detail of that place from the floral arrangements to the the molding right the crown molding up there to the colors to the smells to the uh, drapes to um, the appearance when I walk in when I walk out uh, and <clears throat> uh, allowing that to be one of the many factors that helps me to come into my grace, my womanhood, my um, the way I allow myself to be with myself versus just going anywhere and, you know, thugging it out. <laughs> oh, my God. There's this way... <clears throat> If you relate to me, you probably either are currently experiencing or you have experience where you don't necessarily like a thing, the place, the environment, the situation, but you just hang in there because fill in the blank. Oh, it's only this. Oh, right. And you make up some story to let it be okay that you allow something that you don't like. And then this becomes a habit and then this becomes your life. This kind of settling, making excuses, mediocrity. So it's so much more than just being in a beautiful place. Yes, it is about being in a beautiful place, but it's the why of the beautiful place. It's setting the standard, choosing yourself, saying, what is it that feeds me? What is it that fuels me? What is it that makes me feel good? And arranging your life so that that becomes your reality. And what happens is you have to, it requires that you look at how much you value yourself, how much you value your interior landscape, how much you value how you feel when you sit down, when you rest, how much you value how you see yourself, how much you value what you allow to be present in your life. Not just people, but circumstances and environments. This all taps into worth, self-worth, and value, and identity, and what we believe we deserve, and what we allow and don't allow in our lives. So here's the invitation for you. I am going on a three-city tour. It's the Unapologetic Womanhood Tour, starting October 14th in London. So if you are in or around London, and you are a woman who has experienced sexual trauma, and you're walking around with the burden of that trauma, <clears throat> and there's so many um, external examples of carrying the burden, and you know what they are, and you want to release those, and you want to open up to the parts of yourself that you perhaps have wondered about, or questioned, or dreamed about, 
and you want those parts of you to come out into the world and to be lived and to be breathed and to experience to be experienced and you want to become a woman who does feel highly valuable so you can allow good things to happen for yourself so you can feel like you have the right to set standards for yourself that are self-serving without the whole trip of guilt and selfishness that tends to be the, the, the feeling for women who are um, feel not worthy. Anytime they allow anything good or an opportunity for something exceptional or grand to happen, they self-sabotage because they don't feel worth it. And if this has been the case for you and you want to get rid of that, and you want to immerse yourself in a beautiful space, luxury that feels good, where you can relax your body, where you can allow that space to touch you. And then to work with me and the other woman in the room who will be working around healing, around speaking our truths, around being witnessed in our vulnerability, engaging in exercises that require you to be face to face with someone who cares about you and who wants to hear what you have to say and saying things that you've never said before and doing things that you've never done before so that when you leave this space, you feel more equipped, you feel more true, you, for, you feel more in tune with who you really are before you became bogged down with all these lies and stories about who you are and who you are not, what you can and cannot have. So if this speaks to you, then click the link on this page, get your ticket, just get your ticket, just you know that you know that you know. Get your ticket, get yourself ready to come sit with me in a room with other women who totally relate to you, who actually want to hear what you have to say, and allow yourself to be transformed. Give yourself this gift, this opportunity, this value, and go ahead and get your ticket, clear out your calendar, and I will totally, oh my God, <laughs> totally look forward to seeing you, being with you watching you come out of yourself and allowing others to see you for the truth of who you are. So this is Naima signing off from Patty, and I look forward to seeing you in London, Houston, or Los Angeles. Lots of love. Bye, darling.